Well, hey there, everybody. It's Laurie McLean, back with another episode of RA Raw. In this week's episode, I am going to talk openly and candidly about gratitude and how over the years it has become one of my most valuable tools when it comes to managing pain. So for a lot of years, um, I spent a lot of time thinking about what my life would be like if I didn't have rheumatoid arthritis. And in my mind, focusing on the things that rheumatoid arthritis was taking away from me. But I know that one of the things that really helped over the years was when I began to shift my perspective and stop focusing on the pain and the stiffness. I can honestly tell you that for years I woke up and the first thought that went through my mind was, ouch, my knees hurt. You don't have to be grateful for the things that RA is doing. But instead, if you focus on the things that you want more of, rather than the things you want less of, shifting, shifting from glass half full to glass half empty can be an immense, immensely powerful tool. So if you're like I used to be, then you start your day by thinking about what's hurting, about how your day is probably gonna suck because you're in a flare, by thinking about all of the things, all of the obstacles that RA puts in your world. I invite you and I urge you to begin thinking about the things that you're grateful for. You can start small and it can be something like, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the pillow I have to lay my head on. I'm grateful for the bed that I slept in last night and I'm grateful for the blankets that kept me warm. I'm grateful for the person laying beside me. I'm grateful for the dog at my feet. I'm grateful for the cat that is meowing because he wants breakfast. I'm grateful for the bird chirping outside of the window. I'm grateful for the coffee that I'm about to consume. I'm grateful for the toothbrush that is gonna clean my teeth. I'm grateful for the food that is going to fuel me for the day. I'm grateful for my family. If you start focusing on those things that you are grateful for, you take the power away from your pain. So after I say thank you and list all the things and you know, think of the things that I'm grateful for when I wake up in the morning, after I've brushed my teeth and done all that, and go get my breakfast, make myself a cup of coffee, I then sit at my desk and I write what I am grateful for, again, in my gratitude journal. Now, when I started off, you know, it was, it was easy, it really was. I could write 10 things, no problem, that I was grateful for. And then it got a little harder because as time went on, I really had to dig deep and delve into and really take a look at what I was grateful for. You know, I remember one day I, I was actually even grateful <laughs> for the book that I had to write what I was grateful for in. I was grateful for the pen that I was using because I love a good pen. But it honestly does take that power away from the pain. When I'm writing what I'm grateful for in my gratitude journal, I'm not thinking about what's hurting. I'm not thinking about the ways that RA has introduced some obstacles into my world. I am focusing on the positive. Again, as I said, it's taking that glass and no longer seeing it as half empty. Instead, you're seeing it as half full. Huge, huge tool to have. And something that also really helps is meditation. I know I mention meditation a lot on this channel and it's because I am an absolute convert. I used to think that meditation was just, you know, ridiculous. and who could sit there and be void of thought. I thought there was no way that I could be void of thought. Well, for me, it's actually not that I'm void of thought, but what I am thinking is intentional. So I have a guided meditation that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago, whenever it was here on the channel. And it is a gratitude meditation where I walk you through the things and I ask you questions about what you're grateful for. 
and it really does help, again, to focus your mind somewhere else. I've had people tell me that when they are dealing with a lot of pain, they will turn that gratitude meditation on and it will honestly transport them out of their body and take them away from the pain. Even if it's only for five minutes, seven minutes, however long the meditation is, it does help and it gives you some reprieve. And afterwards, you feel refreshed, relaxed, and even in some cases energized because you're no longer focusing on that pain. I look at it as it's, it's kind of a, a boost for your spirit. There you go. There's one tool in a toolkit of many that will help you deal with the pain. I hope you can see the value in living a gratitude-based life. Everybody, take care. I hope you have a great week. And I will see you next week. Bye for now.